What's up guys? Today I'll be doing a comparison review between these winning MS500 boxing gloves and these Fly Super Lace X boxing gloves. So stay tuned. Uber up the styles like miles and shit. Like 60s funky wires with waves and perms. Just sending junky rhythm. What's going on guys? Carlo here and today I'm going to be doing a comparison review between these winning MS500 boxing gloves and these Fly Super Lace X boxing gloves. As you can see, I got them in the respective blue color schemes. They're both 14 ounce gloves. The only difference between the two is the winnings are going to be Velcros and these Fly Super Laces are going to be laces. Um, now they are both advertised to be a 14 ounce glove and before we move on to the details of the glove, let's go ahead and weigh these out and see how true they are to weight. So we'll go ahead and start with winning first. And the winning is right at 13.9 ounces, so almost on the dot with being 14 ounces. These Fly Super Lace X's are going to be 14.9, so they're about an ounce over. So, for the sake of weight, uh, for the sake of weight, excuse me, uh, you can see that the winning is a little bit more accurate. Now, as far as it being a training glove, that's not a huge deal in my opinion. If these were fight gloves, then obviously that would be a huge deal. But you know, as long as they're within an ounce or two of what they weigh, um, for me, comfort and the feel of the glove is more important than weight itself. So. Not a huge deal, but anyhow, you can actually see the proportions of the glove compared to each other. Um, these flies have kind of more of an aqua blue color to them, a little bit more of a powder blue, where the winnings have more of a traditional kind of a, a royal, almost like a royal, a little bit deeper color of a blue. Uh, but you can see how long they are. They're about almost identical in, size, in, in terms of both length and width. You can see that they both have a very similar thumb. I would say that the winning's thumb is a little bit longer by a hair, where the fly is a little bit has a little bit more of a wider outer profile. Both are very comfortable. Um, my very first flies that I had, uh, which were the super laces as well, I had an issue with my thumb kind of jamming at the tip. I didn't have the, that issue with these or my super loops. So maybe it was just a one-time thing, or it was just the you know every one of these gloves are. Are handmade custom made so there might be a few small discrepancies not every single glove is going to be exactly the same when you when you have that kind of manufacturing but so you, as you can see the the thumbs are kind of similar as far as it running parallel but this one kind of sticks out a little bit more where the winning is a little bit more into the glove another thing you'll notice right off the bat is how much deeper the finger compartment is uh, on the fly which i prefer over the more shallow uh, finger compartment of the winnings um, that's because your fingers kind of sit sink in more and it's easier to make a natural fist Whereas if it's a little bit more shallow you, you kind of find yourself doing one of these and having to really roll over It's not a huge deal But it's just more of a creature comfort when it comes to boxing gloves to be able to have your your hand in the position to make a fist really easily um, One thing you also notice and I wish that uh, I had a velcro version I know they don't have the X super lace X in velcro yet so it would be more of a an equal comparison, but one thing with the winning Velcro gloves, they really don't have any wrist support other than the back side of the, the wrist where you have some padding. There's not much on the front. It's just the leather and then this Velcro strap that's pretty flimsy. Um, if I were to put these up on their side, you can actually see how much more thicker the fly is compared to the winning in terms of, you know, how much more wrist support you have. So you have about a half inch layer of, of foam padding on the wrist on, on both sides as well as on the back of the wrist which gives you a little bit more stability um, with the flies. Now uh, turning them over, you can see they both have their respective screen printed logos. Um, you can see that the cuff on the fly is a little bit taller than the winning. Um, so that has a little bit more of a, a higher uh, you know, cuff. So the hinge point is a little bit different. It's a little bit higher uh, on the fly than the winning. Um, you can actually see you know, both gloves have that seam where it connects the thumb to the back of the wrist. The fly has it as well. Uh, inside liner, you can see that the Winnie uses their standard kind of their polyester nylon liner. Um, you can see the cuff of the, uh, the wrist area is done really nicely. And then with the fly, uh, very similar to, you kind of have a more of a, uh, a silker, a silky kind of feeling liner. It's a little bit smoother I would say a little more softer than the winning where the winning has you know it's soft as well but this one has a little bit more of a, of a satin silky feel to it I, I don't know how to describe it. I'm trying to find the words to, to describe it so, but it's just a little bit smoother 
then the winning you can see it has a 14 ounce tag right there as well um, craftsmanship wise I mean you're going to be drawing straws as far as craftsmanship you can see that the winning use a little bit of a wider stitch pattern and by that I mean you can see that the actual stitches that go in have a little bit more of a wider um, width of the stitch that, that it goes in and I'm not I'm not a seamstress so I don't know the term for that but you can see where the fly uses a little bit more of a closer stitching pattern in their stitching you have that X pattern on the back but you can see it's a little bit closer both are done really nicely I mean you can't really find any flaws in either one but you can see the stitching on both look really fantastic on both gloves they look really nice um, you know the, the screen printing on both gloves they look fantastic they're even on both gloves you know let me rotate this around again um, you can see that the leather on the winning looks really good or should I say the leather material I'll go in more detail on that here in a minute it looks good it has a pretty decent sized grip bar I'd say it's about a medium sized grip bar on the fly again leather is done really nicely the grip bar on this one is actually kind of small you can see that it's a little bit flatter you don't have much of a grip bar there compared to the winnings you can see how how much more smaller that grip bar is compared to the winning which is uh, protrudes out a little bit more so the grip bar I think on the winning is a little bit uh, a little bit more robust um, and while we're here you can see the actual the edge stitching looks really good on the edges of the winning same thing with the fly all the edges look really good no stitching coming apart there um, you can also notice that when you're looking at the fly you have a little bit longer of a stretch of a seam when it comes to the thumb piping around the thumb where it's a little bit shorter on the winning and then the punch surface we're gonna do this and go ahead and rotate that around and you're kind of looking at the punch surface so you know both punching surfaces are pretty round one thing you'll notice is that the the fly is a little bit wider and flatter than the winning where the winning is a little bit more rounded off you can see the fly has a little bit of a flatter punching surface than the winning again not a nothing of a big deal just kind of more of the style of the glove and how it looks but you can see both have a nice punching surface again fly being a little bit wider and then the balance of the glove you can see that these winnings are top heavy and the main reason for that is because there's literally really no padding on the wrist area here and with the strap being pretty rinky dinky the strap is pretty much just a leather strap so there's nothing there uh, where these fly super laces are a little bit more balanced a little still a little top heavy but a little definitely more balanced than the winning in terms of weight distribution now the big thing for me that I noticed right off the bat when I got these flies now we've known winning for years now and I know that their head guard I don't know if it's their FG 5000 or the 2900 is synthetic leather so it's not genuine leather Winning gloves have always have had kind of a question mark. There's been a gray area in terms of winning gloves being, um, you know, authentic leather, genuine leather, should I say. And they look fantastic. They feel good. Um, you know, I'm not a leather or a tanning expert per se. Um, but, you know, looking at this compared to these new Fly Super Lace Xs, they look almost identical as far as the material and mind you these super lace x's are their synthetic versions so if you look at the actual grain of the material here in the fly it looks almost identical to winning and they they even feel the same like if you feel this material it feels almost identical to the winning and it even smells identical i know it sounds kind of weird but when you actually smell this material i'm sure some of y'all actually smell your gloves just to I don't know get high off of them but if you smell the material they actually smell exactly the same too so obviously fly advertises this as a synthetic leather glove they're not a genuine leather glove winning just advertises this as a leather glove um, so just kind of raises my eyebrows a little bit on whether or not winnings are actual genuine leather glove they seem to be but then these super laces look almost identical in terms of the material now the palm side you can see here on the winning has more of a thicker grainier look so maybe the palm material on the winning is different than on the back of the hand but 
One thing you notice on the on the palm, look at the leather on the palm here, and then look on the back of the of the glove. That's definitely two different kinds of material. That's not the same material that they're using on the back of the glove. So that's the difference between that and these flies. The flies use the same material throughout the entire glove. But if we were to go to the back, the thumb of the glove, you can see, trying to get as up close and you know as as I can. The material almost looks identical. So um, take it for what it is. This is one of those similarities I saw with both gloves, seeing that these are synthetic and the winnings are supposed to be genuine leather. So very close in terms of craftsmanship, the material they use. Now the big difference is going to be the price now. All right, obviously the price is always going to be the big killer. These flies come in, you know, US dollars around $220, $250, depending on the exchange rate, which is going to undercut these winnings by quite a bit. You know, now, depending on where you get these winnings from, Rakuten, um, you know, Amazon, eBay, wherever the source you get them from, I've seen typically like the MS5 or the MS600s go anywhere from like $350, $400 on up, just depending on the size and the color. The higher you go in size typically with winning, the price goes up pretty good. Once you start getting into different colors, then the price goes up. Uh, with these flies, you know, you're, you're all right now, all you have for right now are the, the solid blue, red, white, black, I believe. And I'm sure they're gonna eventually come out with more co color combinations, but you know, you're, you're basically looking at about like $100 savings, you know, give or take, if you go with these fly super lace X's. And in my opinion, um, performance wise, they're very similar. Now, when you put your hand in these, they're both very comfortable. I give the edge to the fly in terms of hand comfort because of this deeper finger part pocket. I like the deeper finger compartment. I feel like I can make a, a more natural fist because of that. You can see that they both have, you know, medium firm density foam on the knuckle area. Winning has been known to be kind of more of the, on the protective end. You still get good feedback and crack with winnings. Now, when you look at these fly super laces, very similar. Again, the consistency of the padding, this multi-layer foam padding they use, is very similar to winning. So I feel with these Fly Super laces, you're getting basically a very similar glove to winning, but with a more ha comfortable hand compartment and a little bit more cheaper. So, so I hope you guys enjoy this review. If you guys have any questions, make sure you guys put them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box and where you can find these two gloves. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.